Fellow wildlife photographers, hope you've had some really good outings and some great wildlife encounters lately. All right, I had this great encounter not too long ago with this hooded merganser male. Actually, he was one of probably anywhere between, I'm going to guess, 60 to possibly 100 hooded mergansers on this lake uh, this particular morning. So a really fun time. Anyway, started bathing in this gorgeous early morning light and got a really fun shot out of it. So figured I'd edit this one for you guys. But before we jump right into that edit, I want to just talk real quick about the my website, rayhennessy.com. Please check it out whenever you get a chance. Um, I have new photos there every day. You can see these photos on social media, Instagram, and Facebook most of the time as well. But you get to see them a lot bigger here. You can actually click on them, view them full screen, really see what the photo is about. Plus, I always list all the camera settings if that's important to you. Just keep in mind, those camera settings are only really applicable to this specific photo. So it's not like I can just, you know, blanketly take these camera settings and use them for another scene and get the same results. But uh, some people do find it to be helpful to see them. So I include them there on the website all the time. Anyway, I have a ton of other stuff. Lots of video content lately. Behind the scenes, the wild conversation, conversation. Oh, that's a tough one to say. The Wild Conversations Show. There we go. And I also have other live shows I'm doing. I'm doing some Ask Me Anything shows where you can ask questions. I have a couple of those scheduled coming up, and I'm going to plan to keep doing those as well. And then Photographer's Favorite Show, which is really fun. It's where me and another photographer pick five of our favorite photos from other photographers and talk about what we like about them. So I have a ton of those episodes out already, and usually have a new one coming out every single Saturday. So don't miss those and all kinds of other stuff. So that's the video section there. Also have a ton of workshop stuff here. Um, you can join me for, I have some group workshops scheduled. The anytime workshops, if you're local in the Northeast, it's a great way to work with me. The online workshops and mentorship program. So tons of content, tons of ways to learn on rayhennessy.com. Please do me a favor and share this with your friends and fellow photographers. It's a huge help to me to spread the word about this website. I put a ton of time and effort and work in here. And while I do make a living from this and I charge for a lot of this stuff, like my workshops and my online workshops and the mentorship stuff, there's still a ton of free content here, especially in these videos, like the behind the scenes videos and the, uh, the wild conversation show and stuff like that. So tons of free content and also ways to work with me directly. So please check that out whenever you get a chance and let's jump right into this real time edit. All right. First things first, I'm going to start with a nice crop here. I'm a little tiny bit crooked. It feels, I don't know, kind of hard to see the exact water line with the way this hoodie was tearing up the water there. Uh, so I, I love giving more space in front. You know, I'd like his head to be more closer to this third, but I don't want to lose all the, the fun splashing going on over there. So I'm going to leave him closer to centered in this case. All right. Uh, the shadow area of the bird's getting way too blue there. So I'm just going to actually clean that up with the white balance here, which gives me some beautiful golden glow on him and the background. I'm going to kick those shadows up, bring the blacks back down for contrast. Um, not sure what else I'm going to do. I think that's about it. I do want to return some blue in the water uh, but I'll do that in Photoshop because uh, if I do that here it's going to actually add more blue to the breast of the bird which is not at all what I want to do so don't see anything to clone so I'm actually going to toss that layer um, boy when you get some really good light like this there is not a whole hell of a lot to do to these images so uh, let's see I'll just lighten up the crest a little bit we'll maybe kind of brighten the eye just a touch there and just kind of show these shadowy areas oops got to watch i make sure don't make a halo there uh, i'll accentuate the water and the kind of glistening off the bill there and that's probably about it all right i'm going to ditch some of the blue there's still a little bit of blue and cyan probably on the breast of the bird there so i just want to kind of clean that up selectively just so he is more gray because in real life there is zero blue on that bird all right, and then I do want to actually exaggerate the blue in the water, though, where it's kind of roughed up here. So there we go, because I love, I always love that blue, and, um, ooh, notice I got to get rid of it in the reflection there. Um, I always love the blue and warm kind of color contrast, that cool, warm tone always looks good to me. So 
Yeah, there we go. That works well. And I'm just going to do a little bit of burning in the foreground here. Uh, not so much on the bird itself, but just kind of in some of the reflection here, uh, just to really try and help zero your eye in. And then maybe just a slight burning across the top. I love the texture of those out of focus reeds back there, uh, like that right in there. Love that. Always like that texture because it's not too smooth. All right, now I want to see if I can make some of these water drops stand out a little bit more. Let's see how many of them I can get selected. Oh, that should work nicely. There we go. And I'll do some dodging on them to kind of get some of these drops to stand out. That worked well. Let's see if we can get some more to stand out now. Uh, boy, the rest of this is going to be a tough selection. Let's see. I'll try. Oops, hit the wrong button there. All right, let me try grabbing that section right there. Nope. There we go. Yeah, that should do it. That's got a lot of those water drops. I just got to watch some of these areas up here. Let's see what this does. Oh, yeah. That's going to help. So I don't want to hit it like crazy, but check that out. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's working really good. That's exactly what I was looking to do. Show off all the splash. Didn't have to select any of it manually. Isn't that the best when it works that way? Get a little bit of it up in here. So I got to watch in here because some of it looked like it was catching the background, but that's doing pretty good. Man, it's doing really good all over the place. I'm actually kind of impressed on this one. I, I wasn't expecting that much of a selection to, to kind of work to show off these water drops and everything. Uh, show a little bit more in there. There we go. Look at that. Oh, too much there. Let's zoom in and reselect just for the splash here. There we go. I think that's what I'm looking for. Let's see. Yep. Got to watch that I don't go too far with it in any area because I don't like to see that, how it can just kind of overexpose the areas. But there we go. Oh, wow. That's going to show so much better. Look at that. Yep. Cool. Uh, wow. I think I am done with this one. So there's the before and after. Big difference with the splash there. Love when that works out. So many times it does not, and I have to get in there and do that stuff manually, which is painstakingly bad. I'm actually, I just noticed something as I looked at the image again. Um, so I'm going to pop this back open in Photoshop again. There's a little bit of like a weird coloration thing happening there, like a, kind of like a gray spot, and it's showing along in there too. So I'm just going to use a color layer there and kind of clean that up and there we go. That's much better. All right, cool. It's the little things, people. It's the little things that make a difference sometimes, or at least that annoy me to the point of uh, making a difference. All right, let's check out the before and after on this. We should see a good difference there, both in color, uh, brightness, and kind of vibrance overall. And then, of course, you know, look how much better that splash stands out. You know, obviously, it's a little bit closer, but just look all right in here and you can see where you can kind of see the water drops there, but now they're standing out nicely. So uh, there's my final edit on that one. Thank you so much for watching this real time edit. If you enjoyed this, please share it with your friends and fellow photographers. And I will see you next Friday for the next real time edit.